Hello, here we are on week six of the art journal prompts. Um, I've brought this uh, video forward to Saturday because I'm finding it difficult doing three videos a week. I'm getting overtired. So there won't be a video on Monday. But the first one is blue. And that is the main color plus black and white if you want to use it. So roll for the accent color. And it is, well, it can't be blue again. <laughs> blue with an accent of blue, be a bit weird. It's going to be red. And the words is a random word from my magic box of words. Right, let's get that out. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And I'm going to pop my fingers in, wiggle them about, and pull out a, a, a piece of paper and see what the words are on it. Right, here we are. Ooh, it says, 63 unpaid. Can we do anything with that? What's on the back? Nothing useful. 63 unpaid. I'm not sure we can do anything with that, so I think we're going to do that again. Try and pull out a piece of paper. Right, I've got two there. I only want one. Right, what do we have? Woman is fickle. Ah, okay. We can work with that. We don't have to use the whole phrase. We could say something else is fickle, couldn't we? We could just use the word woman or just the word fickle. So, oh, that's good. I'm going to have a go with that. And the next item we're going to roll for is the focal point. Whoops, dice has gone out of sight, but it actually says number four, and it's a building. That's always difficult, isn't it? Mm. Right. I suppose it could be um, a room or an actual house. Number three is five. We must use scribble again. We used that last week, so we're going to use it again. So go over those again. I'm going to put them in the description down below anyway. Um, the first colour is going to be blue with black and white if you want. Just gives you an extra option. Red is the accent colour. The words are woman is fickle. I'm sure I've used that in a collage before. Uh, the fourth uh, item is the focal point which is going to be a building. And uh, the fifth is to use some scribble. So I'm going to have a go. Here we are. I've got this piece of paper that was from an old sketchbook of mine. It's the actual cover, so it's cardboard. Um, I'm going to make a house-shaped tag book thing. You'll see as I go along. So that is automatically already um, blue and red. There's a bit of scribble on the back of it. And I'm going to cut the um, roof line now. I'm just going to measure it out. It's about eight centimetres wide, so I need to put a mark in the middle. If I try and eyeball it, I'll get it all wrong. I think we'll have the roof line finishing about there. We'll measure that out properly. There's no rules that say you can't use um, a ruler to help you. <laughs> and you can use your paper cutter as well for straight lines. There we go. And now the other side, I'm going to have a chimney, so I'm going to have to draw that out by hand. Well, I might be using the ruler again. So this is roughly where it's going to go. But I'm going to straighten it up and make it all tidy with the ruler. Just rub those lines out. They're still visible where they are, so I can still tidy it up. Now this tag, I can actually put some pages in it and turn it into a book. Like a tag book. And there we go, that's a little chimney cut out. Oh, I love that. I love that as it is. Um, and I've cut out a stamp of a lady. And I've got some shorthand which also is to represent scribble, although shorthand isn't really scribble, but to some people it is. And now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to lay them out. I 
just wonder whether to have an entire piece covering it up, but it covers up too much of the actual colour of the of the house. You have to do this sort of thing with your um, collages. You have to try things out before you settle on the right composition. And now what I'm going to try is I'm getting out, I've got some lovely flat sari silk here. I'm just going to try and find a piece that I think would go well. And this is a lovely purple piece. I'm going to use that between the two. That's much nicer. Right, now I'm going to try one or two other things before I settle on the exact way it's going to go. I don't want it plonked in the middle. I found the shapes to be all too similar, so I've turned one sideways and that's a lot better. That's much better, happier with that. I did try this little bit of red as well, but I thought it was too much really. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try a little bit of this muslin as well instead of the red. And that gives some lovely little textures sticking out. Quite pleased with that. So it's going to be something like this. So I just need to lightly glue it down because I'm just going to sew one edge of it. put a bit of glue stick on. I don't intend for these to be flat. I think the first layer can be. But the next two layers I don't really want to be flat. So I'm just going to put just a dab of the glue just to hold it in place. Just tidying up the edges of that. No, I tried that but no. <laughs> don't like it. So I'm going to pop that down there like that. And then the muslin on top. And then the lady on top of that. I'm just going to use a dab of glue to hold it in place while I sew it actually. Things do move around if you're not careful. But I didn't want the fabric to be flat, flat, flat against the background. That's better. I'm actually putting the glue on the paper on the outside just to hold those edges down. That's it. And I'll put her on on top. It's a stamp I got and I got it second hand so I can't tell you where I got it from. And it's obviously the only section of the stamp. And I stamped on greaseproof paper. So I couldn't find any tracing paper which is rather annoying. So that's it sewn on the right hand edge. I'm just going to um, tidy up the sewn edges. What I shall do with the video on Monday, I shall put a reminder in my community tab. I'll post to the Art, Jun Art Journal Junkie Facebook group um, as a reminder. And on Wednesday, I'll probably um, do a reminder as well. So I'm going back to my schedule of posting on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I think it's needed for my sanity. <laughs> so now I'm going to do some eyelets and I've got some large eyelets down here, little gold ones, and I think they'll be quite nice. They're the ones I've used in that. Oh, you probably didn't see the video, but in my last video at the beginning, I showed some um, roll I've made and I used the large eyelets and that. I rather like them. I want to need the um, pliers as well to squeeze them. So my Japanese hole punch, I've put in one of the larger holes. It's a bit tatty, but it'll all be hidden by the um, eyelets, thankfully. So these are these pliers, but I find it very difficult to get, I can't reach this second one. 
nope, can't reach that one. So I'm going to have to use the silent setter, which I do find really difficult for these bigger eyelets. They're much harder. The small eyelets I don't have a problem with, but these larger ones, they're really tough to flatten down. So I'll try my hardest. So that's it. I like those. Now, there's one other element I'm going to do. I'm going to add a bit of um, ribbon to the top. Uh, not ribbon, lace. And what I can do is I can put some pages inside and use it in my um, art journals as an extra little space to write in. A nice little hidden space, which I quite like doing. So I'm going to get some more lace. I've got this piece of lace. I did consider putting it on the bottom, but I think it's too much. So I'm just trimming a piece off and I'm going to have it there on top. But obviously I don't want it on both pages, I just want it on the top page. I'm going to sew it, but again, I'm just putting a little bit of glue to hold it in place while I'm sewing it. My sewing machine is good, a bit of a clean. All this glue isn't really good for sewing machines. Mine seems to be able to handle it, but it isn't good for them. So I'm just sewing it now. There we go. And I've just realised as I'm looking at this that I haven't put the words on. <laughs> what I was going to do was just use the word fickle and have that on the front page somewhere. I'm just tying off the loose ends here, but I'm getting in a bit of a, a bit of a muddle there. I don't always tie off ends, but I think I'm going to for this piece. There we go. That's tidier, isn't it? And it's inside, not on the front, so that's neater. So yes, I'm going to add, I think, on the bottom right, I'm going to add the word fickle, I think. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Forgot that. And I'm considering I could dangle something from the bottom eyelet as well. Anyway, so here it is so far. I hope you enjoy um, having a go at this one. I quite enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.